When you think of the Airbus A380, you think of the largest passenger aircraft in the world, capable of flying up to 853 passengers in a one-class configuration. The A380 was designed to allow airlines to intensify their hub-to-hub -hub network, competing against the likes of the Boeing 747. The number of passengers this impressive machine can carry is the result of outstanding innovation in the aviation industry and brilliant solutions to engineering challenges. In this video, we dive deep into what made the A380 so special in an attempt to decongest the busy global hubs. Airbus started the A3XX project in 1994, aiming to lower the operating costs of the Boeing 747 by at least 15%. The Airbus A380 project officially started in December of 2000, when the Airbus board approved the $10.7 billion plan to develop a full double-decker aircraft. Out of the 50 firm orders from six launch customers, Airbus broke the traditional nomenclature, calling the new airliner A380 and taking a leap after the A340. We will explain why at the end of this video. In the meantime, leave a comment if you know the reasons. The A380 flew for the first time in April 2005 and was certified by the FAA and EASA at the end of 2006. The first commercial flight was operated by Singapore Airlines, the launch customer, on October 25, 2007, flying between Singapore and Sydney. At the time, Singapore Airlines CEO claimed that the A380 was helping the airline lower fuel per seat mile consumption by up to 20% over the Boeing 747-400. The project is estimated to cost Airbus a whopping 25 billion euros in research and development, and the last of the 251 units was delivered to Emirates in December 2021. In total, the A380 was ordered by 14 customers, with Emirates alone accounting for almost half the orders. Since its entry into service, the A380 has carried over 300 million passengers for a total of 7.3 million flight hours and has become a symbol for airlines such as Singapore Airlines, Lufthansa, and Emirates. The sheer size of the first ever full double-decker aircraft called for a massive effort towards weight reduction. The A380 incorporates around 25 tons of carbon fiber, which makes up 16% of the overall weight, the highest percentage of any airline when it first came out. This includes a carbon fiber reinforced plastic central wing box, a vertical tailplane and flaps, and the use of glare materials, a sandwich of aluminum and fiberglass adhesive which help to keep the weight low. Similar to the A340-600, the A380 is 100% fly-by-wire. Additionally, the higher hydraulic pressure from 3000 to 5000 PSI allows for reduced pipe sizes, saving weight. Another weight reduction came from the wire materials. On the A380, the traditional copper was replaced with aluminum, which is less conductive but lighter. The work on weight reduction on the A380 fuselage served as a bridge toward improved composite material use on the Airbus A350. All these advancements result in a maximum takeoff weight of 575 metric tons, around 160 metric tons more than the Boeing 747-400. A higher weight requires larger wings to produce the lift needed to lift up this giant. The A380's wing is the largest produced for a civil airliner. The A380 features a wingspan of 79.75 meters and a surface area of 843 square meters or 9,096 square feet. To put it into perspective, the flap area alone on the A380 corresponds to the entire area of an A320 wing. Due to its flaps, the A380 has the same approach speed as the Airbus A320 and can take off using a 3,000-meter runway, depending on environmental conditions. Together with the large dimensions of the fuselage and wings, many technological advancements were introduced with the A380. The A380 was the benchmark for the Brake to Vacate system, which was certified for the first time in 2009 and then introduced on the A350. In case of a missed approach, the system will advise the pilots with a runway too short alert. High effort went into system integration to allow a module to take over certain functionalities should one fail while optimizing space and time. Last but not least, the A380 introduced an electronic library to replace the traditional paper documentation used by pilots. 
The A380 was developed at a time when aviation was shifting away from four-engine airliners and investing in lighter twin-engine aircraft. Airbus offered two engine choices, the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 and the GP7200, produced in a joint venture between General Electric and Pratt & Whitney. While the new engine choices allowed the Airbus A380 to minimize fuel consumption and noise over the A340-600 and the Boeing 747-400, these four-engine airlines belong to a different aviation era. To welcome the Airbus A380, many airports in the world had to make some infrastructural investments. For example, Glasgow Airport invested over £8 million to welcome the daily Emirates flights operated by an A380, including widening runways and modifying adjacent parking spaces due to the huge aircraft wingspan. On the other hand, London Heathrow invested over £450 million to modernize terminals, including a £100 million renewal of Pier 6 in Terminal 3. As a result, the A380 has always been a regular visitor in London, with Emirates flying it up to six times a day in the summer of 2023. In February 2019, Airbus announced the end of A380 production as Emirates agreed to convert its outstanding orders to the twin-engine A330neo and A350s. The COVID pandemic hit airlines hard, forcing almost every airline to ground the A380. In this time frame, China Southern, Malaysia Airlines, Thai Airways, and Air France retired their entire A380 fleet. With demand increasing, airlines like Etihad or Lufthansa are slowly reintroducing their A380s to cope with the post-pandemic travel demand. The name A380 was chosen because the cross-section of the fuselage looks like the shape of an 8 and because the number 8 is deemed lucky in several Asian countries. Only a few airlines extracted the true value from this incredible machine, which claims many records for passenger aircraft. While the aviation industry has shifted away from the four-engine aircraft, the Airbus A380 will remain in service for at least another decade.